So the very first thing you want to do is turn the NPC around. You need to make the connection and plug it to MIDI N1. All right, next we're going to take our M Audio MIDI Sport 2x2. It has two MIDI inputs and two MIDI outputs. Next, we're going to connect the MIDI Sport 2x2 with the USB connector. And then we're going to take the opposite end of the MIDI cable that we plugged into the back of the NPC and plug that into output A on the MIDI Sport 2x2. Once you got that plugged in, what you should see on the front of the MIDI Sport 2x2 is a flashing green light if you have the drivers installed. If you don't have the drivers installed, you're going to need to go to the M Audio website, search for MIDI Sport 2x2, click on that link, scroll all the way to the bottom, and download and install the file. So I have my NPC session loaded up, 140 BPMs. As you can see on the screen, I'm going to solo the kick drum and I'm going to walk you through how to MIDI sync this all up. You want to first click the MSIC or miscellaneous button and then select F2 or function two. And here you have two options. You got a sync in and a sync out. We're not going to be concerned with the sync out because we didn't connect anything to the MIDI output. We're only focusing on the sync in. So under mode, you want to change that to MIDI clock. Under sync, you want to change it to MIDI input one and you want to enable the MMC. That's the only thing that you need to do for the MPC and then hit the main key to get back to the main screen. You want to make sure that sync is turned on. With loop, you can turn that off or on. It's your totally your preference. Now, what I found on the logic side is this, this is this is the side where people get caught up and hung up at because they don't know where to go, what to click on, how to turn on the MIDI sync features in logic. For starters, um, I just want to show you guys that I'm operating on logic 10.4.6, which is the latest version of logic. With that being said, it still doesn't change things of how you do things in logic. It might have just moved to a different screen. So I created a track. I'm going to create a track. I'm going to call it NPC kick drum or something. NPC kick drum that works. I like to add little icons. So I found an NPC icon that I'm going to add to this just because we're doing an NPC video. Kind of want to stay with the NPC theme, right? You also want to make sure that your sample rate and your BPM match in Logic as it does in the NPC. My NPC sample rate is at 44.1, so my Logic session's at 44.1. So we're gonna click File, then go to Project Settings, then go to Synchronization. In here, there's only one thing we need to click. We're gonna click on MIDI, right? And so at the destination, because I have my MIDI Sport 2x2, I need to change that to MIDI Sport A, because that's what it's on, Output A. You wanna click the Clock button, and then you wanna check MMC. These are the only settings you need to set in Logic to sync your NPC with Logic. Now, since I know that my NPC is on input seven, I'm going to put it on input seven. And then when I hit play on Logic, it automatically syncs with the NPC and it's pulling that kick drum directly into my Logic session from the NPC. What you'll see on the NPC is EXT. That means it's being controlled externally by Logic. And that's all you need to do, folks. That's as simple as it gets. This works with any NPC. It doesn't matter if it's a 3000, 2000, 2000 Excel, any of the, or any of the NPCs. Like if this is how you sync from a MIDI perspective. This is how you sync your NPC to Logic Pro X. Just want to remind y'all, hit the subscribe button below if you like the video, share the video. Again, for me personally, these are a couple devices that I have that are sometimes I like to incorporate in my music production. So go ahead and subscribe to the page, share the video, like the video, and I'll see you guys next time.